Hey everybody, welcome back to another Rotangus video. And my god, I haven't made a video in such a long time. Uh, I think it's been like two weeks now. So, um, I'm recording this video with headphones on right now. So I don't know how loud my voice is and how loud, like, well, really any of the audio is. But, uh, you tell me in the comments if it's better than before. So, uh, today I'm going to be playing West of Loathing. As you can see, I've played this game before. But I'm just going to be starting a new game. Okay, that's a weird name. I think I set this before, but I don't know why it's hypotenuse. So, yeah, this is just going to be that. Um... Hmm, last name, let's do... Yep. Oh, I think it changed it. There you go, that should be good. Okay, so let's see, I know Snake Oiler is the worst Beanslinger, it varies based on like, your style of gameplay, but I usually go as a Cow Puncher. Um, also, as a little bit of context if you want to play this game, Cow Punchers are melee, Beanslingers are magic, and Snake Oilers are uh, ranged. So, kind of like I did in uh, some of my Slime Rancher episodes, I've already read this stuff, and I'm not just gonna read it out loud, because this will make it like, three times longer, and yeah, I'm gonna do a series, because like, this is a pretty good game. So, you can just pause the video and read it if you want. Okay, so you can move around with Wazda the arrow keys or by clicking so let's see oh yeah also when it does come to text I will read dialogue or if it's just short ooh walking stupid really stupid oh okay Oh, I see. Well. Hmm. Hey, Russell. How you doing? Cool. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Go, go, go. This is so dumb. Uh, I'm gonna feed him a cricket. I'm gonna let him loose. I think one of my favorite parts of this game... One of my favorite parts of this game is, uh... All of the spittoons, because the dialogue is hilarious. But you'll see what I mean when I get to it. Hmm. Guess we'll go into this room. in here. A puzzle cube. Let's see. Fiddle with it. Oh yeah. So this is just the tutorial, teaching how to do stuff, kinda. Okay, here's our mom, I think. Yep. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yeah, it's a big one for Crimbo. I'm pretty sure that's Christmas, but they call it Crimbo. Wherever this is in the West. I know it's early, but... Okay, so... Desert Survival? You can, like... Juice different plants that you see. And they... Like, you can drink what you get from it, or eat what you get from it. And it gives you a slight boost. Um... I don't really need that one. This basically just reduces the price. And then this, you can actually pick locks. 
And that can be pretty important, so I'm gonna get that. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His look covers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. Thanks, Dad. Good, good look out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Ooh, what's in here? A needle. That's an item that you need to actually pick locks. Ooh, it's Rufus. Hey, Rufus, time me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. Yeah, why am I going west? Um, hmm. This is mean. This is good spirit, and this is kind of just neutral. Not, like, really greedy. Uh, I'm going to say to seek my fortune. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make something of myself, I don't go where I can make some meat. Also, notice how meat is capitalized. Um, meat is basically the currency. I have no idea why. Probably because this game has a lot to do with cows, and, like, cows are the main villains of this. And it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. Yeah, that was, like, some event where the cows trampled and burned everyone. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think I'll be dead by... Crimbo. Go west, young man. Looks like this isn't your first rodeo. Yeah, this... This points out... That... I played this before. So, no, I'm gonna do the prologue again because there's some items that you can't get if you just skip it. Uh, I'm gonna skip the credits. Yep. I think the narrator is like the best side character in this, along with Gary, which I'll get to very soon. A turn. Hmm. You wanna do a big secret? The sun and the druid has gone drinking, okay. That crap? Jeez. Oh, oh wait. Um, I forgot about this achievement. You gotta, like, run into cacti a bunch, and then you get more health. I know it's weird, but whatever. I think it's called, like, all scabs or something. <laughs> Plus, you can just see him slithering around here. Oh yeah, mostly scabs. Brass knuckles. All right, I need to read this. Nice. Go, orphans, go. Okay, let's see. So I can't go to bowl. Obviously, what that is. You, you've probably pig figured it out as a bowl. Whatever, that was awkward. It's supposed to be boring springs. Okay, a mug. Let's see what's here. Hey, where's her hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I. You can't drink a new without a hat. Taint proper. Okay. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. Say, you fellow. Yeah? Okay, you head west. If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come on. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Cool. So, if I remember correctly, since I haven't played this in a while, he can be one of your... He can be one of your partners once you get, like, further, like, only a little bit further in the game. And then she can be that too. And then there's also Gary, who can be your partner. That's not Gary, that's a... Town hostler. Howdy, I'm Rotangus. Howdy, Rotangus. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. Also, I can't do this many voices. 
And that's also why I set my character's voice to my normal voice. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. They haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking here instead? Oh, yeah. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how I keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. It's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Nice. So now I unlock the stable. Oh, here's the spittoon. They always have good items in it. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking in it, that it's absolutely disgusting. Look at it. Yeah, it's full of spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell! Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering, in, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't... I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite BBQ eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge, your, you plunge your hand into the awful suit. It makes a sound like <laughs> your skin is burning, your eyes start to water. Keep searching. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations? Aw oh, yeah. Now look out of a ring. But see, it's worth it, and it's not like you lost anything. That's why it's good to do. And it appears... Oh. So I can't play poker, I need meat. It appears everyone's wearing a hat to drink, so I guess they're following the rules. And can't interact with him. Let's talk to the bartender. Uh, oh! Right, I can turn in the mugs. Uh, Dirt Order is the next place, like, the main town after this. Um, I'm just gonna ask about errands. Oh, right. I'm not gonna read all this dialogue, because it's basically just telling you what to do. So, I need to go handle a goblin. I'll do that later. Well, there's only one last place to go. I can't go in here, I think. Yep. Who's this? Rich, the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drink too much cactus beer. That's one of the items you can get from, uh, Desert Survival. And it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, it's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, haha, uh -huh, no. It's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, oh, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Okay. Hmm. You need a shovel. Nope. What? I'm not allowed? Okay. Hmm. And then that's Doc Alice. This bartering guy. Okay, what does the sheriff have to say? Howdy, stranger. Welcome, Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? I am. Great, because I happen to have some. Uh. Fricker gang. Fricker gang. Uh, 
uh, so they stole a door. And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Uh, sure, I'll do it. Oh, and he gave me a pistol. Although I'm not going to use guns often. Deputy, you deputized a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed. There ain't much to do here except drink. You know, let me write down where the Furky Gang's hideout is for you. Okay. So, let's see. Um. Let me go into settings or something. Oh, yeah, nostalgia mode. That's, that's what you get after you, uh, beat the game. And colorblind mode literally does nothing. Um. No, I do not want that. Nerd mode, well, that's just... Yeah, you can read that. Um, no. Because I, if I remember correctly, I need, like, intimidating or something to get the door from the Fricker game. Um, let's go talk to the stable guy. Wait, what's that? The loose plank? Broken board, I was close. Speak soft, carry a green stick. Um, not as good as my game game's brass knuckles. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm... Oh my god. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for the completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help you? Oh god, yes, thank you, please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for finding them. Murder. Why these places? I think they're like environments that are thematically appropriate. Oh. How does that work? They have special pigeon infused oats. Oh. It's the ordinary horse. So, let's see. Uh, I think... Let's... Make your own damned guide to Boring Springs and its environs. Okay, so let's see, um, I guess I'll go to the boneyard first. This is, oh, I'm gonna read the gravestones, because you see a few graveyards and they're pretty funny. Zephania Born. Is there actually a room just in there? Oh. Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. Uh, Beauregard Skeleton. This grave is only nosy. Dang it, I need a shovel. Where do I find that? You know what? No, I'm not gonna go here. I need that shovel. Um, I forgot where to find the newspaper, but... I think it's in the basement? Yeah. Nice. What's in here? Whiskey? There's the goblin. Seems pretty happy. Okay, let's see, um, oh yeah, you bring me some of the room? Oh yeah, oh cool, I got XP. Oh, so we left the shovel in Orhole Mine, behind the shed, outhouse, I mean, dig through, oh nice, 65 feet, another mug, jeez, um, Meat nugget. Well, let's see. Um, let's do blasting caps first. 
Oh, cool. Well, when he has his lantern, he bounces around on it. It's stupid walking. Um, need a crowbar. Where did I find a crowbar? Uh, plungers both times. Okay, I'll take one. Um, tool. Maybe I can find a crowbar there. I'll never get tired of walking. Ah, crowbar. Perfect. And the TNT's right there, so I think I have it. Blasting cap. Put the plunger. Oh, no blasting cap. Add it. Boom. Whoa. Shook the screen. There's still some meat ore in this car. Ooh. Oh, I saw the nugget. Oh, he's one of the horses. Okay, let's see. Um, feed her the oats. Put her on the nose. Eat the oats yourself. So what's better than dry cat food? Okay, bigger the oats. Oh cool. Got it. Huh? What's in here? Oh. Oh yeah, you need barter for the dynamite. But like there's nothing really good in there, so By the way, I've tried both or not both. Or three. I've tried Cow Puncher, Bean Slinger, and uh. Oh, sn yeah, Snake Oiler. Dang it, I had a brain freeze. Okay. Oh, XP from your poop. Nice. And what's in here? A mug. Uh, I think I already got the mug from the sheriff. Let's return the mugs. Okay, who's the lady? That's Susie. Uh, I was gonna call her Mary or something. Um, hmm. You already plumbed the depths of this platoon in your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, well now I can play some poker. Okay. Uh, aggressively. Uh, yeah, the poker is like very logical in this game. Intimidate. Oh, nice. Um, so we don't have enough meat. Um, let's. Can I talk to you now? Oh, howdy, Susie. How the cowboys gonna be searching this platoon for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace? Well, this part's worded really weird. Um, hmm. Well, I can get money for the, that horse. And you don't have to get. Oh dang it! That nade just went right into my ears. That felt really weird. Really uncomfortable. So you don't need to get all of his horses, but then you'll have to find other sources of meat and like there's no unlimited supply of meat here. Oh, he's reading it. Okay, can I talk to this person? No. Yeah, I really forgot that part. So let's see, let's go back No, let's go back. Yeah, let's go back to Brown Springs. Um, let's dig this up. Oh, finally, my first battle. So, uh, dang it, I forgot the stats entirely. So I'll just come back to that. Oh yeah, if you have higher muscle, melee, your melee will be higher. Uh, if you have more moxie, this will be higher. And since I'm not a bean slinger, if you have more uh, mysticality, then that last attack, which does not exist, would be higher. But this, since you always have AP action points, uh, you should always do this for every battle. 
Also, you have like in battle items. Those can be more helpful. It's now attack and more damage. Also, I can like learn new loots from books, and those will be up here. And I think those cost action points, but they're like really powerful and like give you an advantage. Well, that was really easy. What do I get? XP? Old Cal Cavalry Saber. And a gold tooth. Uh, is this better? Five and six? Oh, the crowbar also does damage. Um, shovel doesn't. That doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I guess I'll equip this. Also, if you have, like, the crowbar equipped, you can still use it in situations. And then, a skeleton. You're not getting pissed off by a scuffle. Scuffle And then I have to fight this guy. So, let me get free food. I noticed how that made this damage go not bad. That's because it's muscle. 2 plus muscle, not 2 plus moxie. So yeah, the stats are pretty cool. Uh, let me explain some of them. Uh, and if you don't want to hear them, you can just skip like a minute further in the video. So muscle uh, gives you more melee damage. Mr. Keller gives you more bean slinger damage. Like, Mr. Calorie is only for unlocking certain th things and doing weird stuff. But otherwise, it's just for bean slinger. Moxie increases your gun stuff. That's mainly for snake oiler. So, like, if you're, like, if you're a cow puncher, your muscle should always be highest. So, grit is, like, Oh wait, it just explains it. So like, it's mainly for stomach capacity and HP. And then this is for spine capacity, like, so this is for food items, this is for drink items, and this is for potions. So, that's basically for those. These are just like, this stands for miscellaneous skills. Um, and these are your combat skills. These are my perks so far. Well, that's it for that. And here's the next horse. Oh wait, I didn't read the... Oh. Okay. Timothy Cochran. Gordon Tuckman. Oof. Elizabeth Cochran. Love that. Oof. Silas Cochran. A baby. Jeez. Okay. Translucent horse. Hello. I'm a friend. Okay. I'm not even gonna attempt to do it. It'll just come out cringy. Okay, um. Eat of the oats. Try the oats again. Add some grave dirt to the oats. Oh, then she likes it. Bizarre. So I'm guessing that's Susie's family. And that's why she's grumpy. That's kind of dark. That's really dark. Although not too surprising. Okay, are you Susie Carpenter? Oh yeah, that's the last name. So the Grace in the Cemetery. Sorry for the loss. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. Bartender said it was cows? Cows, right. I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? Uh, raid, cattle, then the cows came home and killed them all. Um, come on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow range. Oh, so like they used to range cows, then they didn't work, so then they ranged pigs. But then the aggressive, the now aggressive cows recognized it, that there used to be cows held captive there, then they attacked. And then she couldn't do anything. Okay. So then she wants her rifle. Oh. That's the last location. Uh, do I have any mugs? No. Well, better go get the rifle. 
I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm aiming to make it like sort of a long video, but like, oh jeez. But like, I'll just finish the boring springs part, and then I'll end it. Okay, um, looks like I can't do much here. Whoa, I just heard cows. I don't know if you can hear that, but I just heard like, yeah, there it is. Um, can't check the crate. What's here? Oh, ramen skin knife. Uh, not better than what I have now. These pies were not safe. Aha, it's a pie safe. Uh, oh, I thought that was a mug. Here's the gun safe. Okay, this is an example of like a fire robot, but it's an example of what the hellish cows are. So let's get beefy and attack. I think I'm about like halfway through this now. Maybe a little bit more. Boom. Easy. Okay. Uh, rifle. And even if you are a snake oiler, you can't equip it. So, um, Gary's probably the best person to take on your adventures. Um, Pete's definitely the worst. He's like absolutely horrible. If you're playing the hard hat mode, which is like super hard, you have to take Pete along with you. Mary, she's pretty good, but she's mainly good against cows. And if you defeat enough cows, she'll level up, but only for cows. <laughs> So, let's see, um, let's talk to her, um, oh, so now I have a her as a partner, um, uh, what else can I do, let me get the money for that horse, uh, he said something in the early button injury, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, busting my knee will muck out the shower room. The, oh, the show room, not the shower room. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. Oh, there's Doc Alice again. Why'd she do that? Who knows? She just shut herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, or I'm pretty sure she's just been sarcastic? Oh, dang it, that neighing again, jeez. Still haven't done the sheriff's request thing. Oh yeah, I picked up that whiskey before. What oh, brain? There's whiskey. Okay, cool. Oh, there she is. Where's she stat? Doctor. Cool. That just jeez, doc. That doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Uh, prenatal. Oh. Um, you should try being less out. Oh. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not that you're gonna do much good. Wait, not that you're gonna do you much good in this doomed to forsaken hellhole. You should try being less cheerful, though. Okay, Legend of Curly's Meat. Uh, it's about somebody's meat. This, that came out wrong. Um, who's Fred Ferguson? Uh, about Civil War and Endgame next week. The Goblin only turns a prime. Oh, I got Goblin time. Maybe I can talk to that Goblin now. So, I still need to unlock Gary. Well, let's just deal with this right now. I already took the newspaper from the whiskey. The Goblin Chats. I'm Gary. Oh! Plot twist. I mean, I already knew it because I played this before and I always choose Gary. Well, not always, I usually. <laughs> but yeah. Gary is the goblin. Er, hi, Gary. Also, goblins talk really weird. Hi! Hi, hello! Hello, I am Gary! Who are you? Well, I'm Ratingus. 
I don't, I don't think this what do you what we thing is doing down here he kind of talks like he kind of talks like Dobby oh well, you know I'm just looking around yeah I was originally supposed to kill him oh hey oh Gary likes to looking too Gary now looking for a way out of this dump Gary not having much luck though it's like a cross between Dobby and Elmo where are you trying to go Gary Hi away! Hi away and fire up! For popping! Popping and then new Gary everywhere! Everywhere, everywhere! Settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like to settling. Gary wants to traveling and popping! If her thing is going far up and high away, maybe taking Gary with you. Eh? Eh? I'll think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna take him with. And if you didn't unlock the goblin tongue, you couldn't take Gary with. So, like. Since Pete is easiest to unlock, just because you- Oh jeez, he just spazzed out. Um, just because you need to talk to him and that's it. Uh, that's why he's the worst. Uh, wait, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Um, there's nothing else to do in here, except when I get more mugs. So, I did a lot of stuff. So, I'm gonna go to... Thousand Snake Sculch. Uh, Snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Um, how much health does I have? Yeah, I'll just kill him one hit. Yep. <gasps> oh, that was easy. Ooh, Rattlesnake skin. Uh, what can I- Oh yeah, three muscles in my head. Wrap the skin around your head and clip it together with the snake's fangs. Oh. What you forget to remove from the skin? Hmm. And snake ball. I guess it's not called one snake gold. Ha! Oh, I got poisoned. And I'll have to do it in two no matter what. Okay, rattlesnake skin, what would that do? Three muscles, so it's the same thing. Your head's already got a hat band, hat band on it. You don't want to be the person who shows up at the party when you multiple hat bands, do you? Um... Oh, this is an angry one. Oh, they're pork. They're also weak. Bang. Also, I know I mentioned that you always have to use beef up, but like, only if it's gonna be like, more than two hits, or if you, like, if it's two hits originally, but then you add it and then it's one hit, that's also good. Oh, it's... Snake Raisin. Hmm. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? No, I am! It's all, it's cool, alright? Be cool, don't freak out on me. Wait, you need I'm fixed. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stage. And the other is revolving madly in a second, like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. Okay. That's a good boy. There! Are you a hungry boy? I've got a little cute view. Snurf. Um, you feed the crazy horse some of the homing goats, and it gallops away with the wing. Or rather, a oh yeah, wriggle. Hopefully he's headed home and not into the twelfth dimension. Okay, well, done with that. All that's left is the Fricker game. Uh, who's this? He's a Unibrow. Thud Fricker. The Fricker gang's an intrepid lookout. It appears to be taking a little nap. Just shoot him, jeez, no. You poke the bug with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. But as, well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. Before you assume that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense. You feel bad about the idea of coming. Um, 
Oh yeah, cause... Uh, this game is in the past, obviously. It's worse than... Uh, let's fight the... No, walk away, Thug. Thug, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. Oh, I got honorable. Nice. I'm a nicey... I'm a nice boy. Oh yeah, and this is... Uh, how Cactus Bill came to be. And yeah, you do need forging, which is from the Desert Survival book. Pile of random stuff. Recover the mug and some cufflinks. Whoa. Oh. Okay, these are the remaining three. Oh, uh, he's dizzying the bastard. Psst, can you pass the soap? Cool, I got some soap. Hey, can I tie him up still? Yeah. Okay, well, what do I do here? Put them in. My divorce, deal me in. Who are you? I get you past the cloud and soap. His name is Soap. Um. You're under arrest. Oh, yeah, more armor. Actually, I get back to you. Oh, yeah, this is why I turned off automatic XP spending. Okay, so yeah, I get kicked out. So I need intimidating two. Nice. Um, I'm also going to upgrade my muscle. Twice. And my mysticality. Once. It's always good to just do it manually. Okay, now I can do it. Okay. I don't need it. I've got all the guns I need right here. You <laughs> flex your biceps in there. I ain't particularly threatened by your physique, but your cool confidence and self-possession is kind of unnerving. Alright, we'll come quietly. Cool. Cool. In the shirt store. Mmm, nothing. Well, time to head back. I did everything I could here. So... Just gonna wrap up the video. Uh, come back to that later. Just return the mugs. Cool. Um, hold on, did I do. Can you trade with this guy? Um, soap first. Oh, that's why I need the soap. Uh, I think I need the lock for the door. Uh, dynamite for a needle. Yeah, dickering is what you get from, uh, the bartering thing. The book about bartering. So yeah, you can do different stuff with what you choose. Um, thing, what was I doing again? Alright. Oh, Over. Oh, dang it, I keep forgetting, jeez, I need to go to the sheriff. Okay. I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? Yep. I just hand him the door. Okay. Yeah, I wanna do that's a slip on the job. I'll go run them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. Nice, that's a lot of meat. Oh, the Fricker gang supposed to lock when they took the door. Couldn't need to move on. I just so happen to have one. Nice, that was right. The sheriff puts the lock on the cell door, then accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. Hellfire! I suppose you know how to put the locks, you're sure you got a new one. Yeah, and then this is what you need the lock button for. Definitely puts the lock. Thank you, kind stranger, blah blah blah. And then that's what you get for the lock button. Um. Where is it? Oh, it's already equipped! One more armor. Well, I've done absolutely everything I can do here. It's been like, I don't know, 40 minutes or something. Oh, and a little extra. Can you sell me a horse? Uh... Basic model? Nah. Shifty, look at the dark one. Um, I'm gonna... Hmm, which one should I do? I'm gonna do Spooky Pale one. Um, I'll take her. Nice. Um, 
Dang it, what should I name her? Let's go with Uguay. Yeah. Alright then, Uguay the horse. It's got a nice room to it. And then I got a map. Nice. Oof, I still have a lot of meat left. It's like, I wouldn't have this much meat if I just skipped it. Uh, yeah. So this is the end of it. And we the gap one. And then you could go alone, but nah. Gary the gap one. I smuggled Gary out under my coat. Okay, of uh, the Manifest Destiny Railroad Camp and the town of Dirtwater. The first day of the rest of your life. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the audio was better. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, tell me why you liked it. Dislike the video, tell me why you didn't like it. Oh, I just noticed my horse is kind of floating there. That's it for this video, and goodbye.